Hello everyone, welcome to my new course Mastering JavaScript with 10 projects. In this course, we will learn JavaScript from basic to advanced with 10 projects step by step. So first I introduce myself. My name is Abdullah Nahyan. I am professional front-end and WordPress developer. Uh, I, am, I am working as a developer for the last 5 years in various companies and as a freelancer also. So first check our syllabus. So uh, I divided this course few sections. So like first we uh, learn JavaScript fundamentals and then DOM, document, object, model, then object oriented programming, ES6, J uh, JSON, Ajax, and finally uh, we uh, done our 10 projects step by step. So what is prerequisite for this course? If you know HTML and CSS, it will be perfect and uh, just basic knowledge is enough for this course. If you know basic HTML and CSS, you can easily uh, learn this course. So what co uh, tools uh, need uh, for this course? So basically, basically, we need two tools. One is editor or ID, BS code, and other is browser or for output, Google Chrome. And two tools is enough for this course. We don't need any other tools. If you need, uh, I will introduce you. So don't worry about this. So finally, uh, we check our project list. So first we do our book list project, then loan calculator project, then to do list project, countdown timer, uh, digital clock, reviews or course slider. Then reviews or course slider, dummy text generator, uh, weather project using API, uh, food recipe app using API, and movie app using API. So those are project lists and uh, first we learn from, uh, from scratch JavaScript and finally we done those 10 projects. So hopefully you will enjoy these projects. Thank you very much for staying with us and please enroll this course. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. In this class, we will learn how to write our first JavaScript code. So uh, we know we need two uh, tools. One is uh, one is editor or ID. So basically, we use BS code, and for output, we use browser Mozilla. Uh, sorry, Google Chrome. So uh, already you know HTML and CSS, so you can know how to write code in BS code code and show output in browser. So, so I back to uh, my desktop and create a folder uh, like name this JS. Okay, fine. And open this folder in my BS code. Open folder, then desktop and JS. Okay. So inside JS, I create a file right index dot HTML. Inside HTML, we will write our JS code. So first, I write basic html code html plan 5 uh, just <coughs> change a uh, title uh, js code okay fine and just for uh, demo purpose i uh, just write a heading h1 uh, javascript sorry uh, javascript fundamentals okay so open this uh, uh, open this file using my google chrome so inside folder open this file using google chrome open with google chrome okay just html r2 show so i need to write our first javascript code so mainly basically we can write javascript code two ways so one is console and our inside code so first we using uh, google console okay so before body, so we know if we write CSS code in HTML file, we need HTML tag uh, as like as as we write JS code in inside HTML, uh, HTML file. So we need a uh, HTML tag which is script script start script add. Okay, just write console dot log first bracket quotation and just write hello world. Okay. 
so save this file back to browser and refresh page so nothing has happened here so i need to inspect this file right click inspect from inspect just here in elements you show all html code from console click on console and you can check js code so here is our hello world which come from console.log okay so as HTML says we use external file for better uh, better output so i as like i create another file uh, like main.js okay and cut this line and paste main.js file uh, we need to uh, load this js file so uh, inside script tag just write src then main js okay and refresh this page and it works perfectly so oh, for now we will uh, learn javascript as like this after when you use uh, uh, dom manipulation or document then we will see another uh, way how to write javascript, uh, javascript code so for now for few videos and few sessions we, we will write javascript code like this in, in write in console and show output in our browser console file so today guys so far thank you very much for watching Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. In this class, we will discuss about bar, let, and const variable. There are three keywords. So bar means uh, basically like a basket where, you co uh, where we can put something. So if we need something put, we, we will use a bar or let or const. So let's see example. So back to uh, editor. Uh, here I, I write just bar bar. First a comment for better understand bar. Okay just write bar and then name uh, uh, like user okay fine equal to i write a name like my name nahian okay so this uh, nahian is stored in user variable okay so if you want to show in browser so just write console dot log first bracket quotation so not quotation just variable name user semicolon back to uh, our browser chrome and refresh and check our uh, my name is show here or you just write anything you can show here you can reassign variable name like again user equal to uh, another okay and last semicolon okay back to browser and refresh check so nahian is not visible and another is visible here because last is prior uh, my last is first priority so this is our variable so variable is uh, you can reassign any time okay so i comment this line so our next part is let let is almost like variable but main difference is you cannot re reassign uh, let uh, like uh, uh, again let uh, and name like user again okay fine uh, just write uh, nahian okay semicolon console dot log just name user okay semicolon and back to browser and refresh check and i am is here okay so if you are uh, again uh, reassign like let user equal to another so what happened back to browser refresh and first syntax error identifier has already been declared so you cannot reuse this so when you uh, start project or dom so we can uh, details know about bar and let so uh, just uh, just show summary about those and last is const which is uh, we almost use const so just write const equal to like user equal to nahian okay and then copy this line for first word okay control b and refresh okay now here show if you reassign const equal to uh, okay user equal to another so what happened just write semicolon back to browser and refresh say constant you cannot reassign constant variable so if you already use user so user cannot be reassigned variable can reassign but let cannot reassign and const 
don't reassign. So this is our let bar, let bar and cost part. So when basically we do project, we will briefly details know about those. So in this class, we just know about just summary about three, about all three keywords. So today class so far, thank you very much for watching. Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. In this class, we will discuss about data types. There are two types of data types. Uh, one is primitive data and other is non-primitive data. So primitive data is string, number, boolean, null and undefined. And non-primitive data is array, object and function. So in this class, we will discuss first uh, primitive data step by step. So first we check string, what is string data. So go back to code and just write a variable uh, like bar, uh, just uh, okay, person. Okay. Person equal to just write a quotation uh, now here. So if you write something inside quotation, it will be string. So for check, uh, I just write console dot log person. So it's show just uh, inside the just text. If you know the type of data, just write uh, type of type of space. Okay. So type of function return. Uh, what is uh, uh, what is uh, inside the variable, variable data types? So back to browser and refresh and check it is string. Because if you write something inside the quotation mark, uh, <coughs> it returns string. So if you write a uh, number like 50 and back to browser and refresh, so it is string. Because if you write something inside quotation, it returns string. Okay, I ref just comment for better understand string. Okay, next is our <coughs> number. Just write like bar any name like number equal to uh, 60 so this is not inside quotation so just write console dot log type of space number semicolon and back to browser and refresh and check if return it is number okay third is our uh, boolean boolean means true or false is written is it true or is it false okay just write boolean okay uh, just write just bar bool for example equal to just write true simply write true and console dot log first bracket type of bool semicolon save and and back to our browser and refresh check its return boolean because it type is boolean just write false and back to browser and refresh check it is also boolean so if you write true or false this type is boolean our fourth data is null null means nothing inside just blank so just write bar uh, test equal to null just write null nothing inside this console dot log type of type of test semicolon and back to browser and refresh check it returns object in uh, after few class we details about object in details so if you uh, just now you know the as null is a object and our last is undefined undefined just write uh, bar okay uh, uh, here, uh, just another variable name equal to just blank nothing uh, declared inside another variable so just console dot log just write type of another okay back to browser and refresh and check it's written undefined because we don't mention what is uh, uh, inside another variable is it string number null or anything so if you don't uh, mention uh, what is inside variable, so it returns undefined. That means uh, just uh, we declare variable name and we uh, put a value after a uh, letter. 
so this is written undefined and then next is our non primitive data array object and function so every uh, array uh, array object and function we will discuss uh, in brief so today class is uh, so far thank you very much for watching Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. In this class, we will start learning about operators. Uh, in any every programming language, operators is very important. So first, first operator is our arithmetic operators. It's a simple math like addition, subtraction, multiplication, uh, exponential, division, modulus, increment, decrement, etc. as like basic math. So let's start. So first, we, what is addition? Uh, addition means basically add, uh, add between two number or more number so first we write for understand uh, addition okay uh, like bar x equal to 5 okay bar y equal to 10 so another variable uh, like bar z equal to x plus y means addition so just write for show output console dot log just write here uh, our variable is z semicolon back to our browser and refresh check 5 and 10 equal to 15 if we add so our second is subtraction okay i uh, just comment this part and okay no problem just write here another part it is subtraction okay uh, just like like 50 x and y is like 25 okay and just write x minus y so a subtract uh, 25 from 50 so back to browser and refresh and check 50 minus 25 equal to 25 so it's what fine third is multiplication so it is multiply between numbers so just copy this line again for better understand uh, just write comment multiplication okay uh, uh, suppose x value is 5 y is 3 so we need to multiply 5 into 3 uh, just write start shift start which means multiply okay back to browser and refresh and check 5 into 3 equal to 15 so it works and our fourth is explanation okay just write so what is exponential this okay copy this line again here uh, star is start okay so we can just write 5 into 3 okay uh, we just write here okay change this line just x star star okay and just check what is output x and back to browser refresh okay 5 uh it's this to uh, five equal to uh sorry uh, equal to sorry two sorry it's uh it's mystic my uh, uh delete this code and just write here like uh, x star star two okay uh, back to browser and refresh and check uh, uh 25 is output so what is mean so that means five into five 5 to 5 25 if you write 3 so what happened back to browser and refresh take 125 that's mean 5 into 5 into 5 so 5 into 5 25 5 to 25 to 125 so this is our explanation and then is our division or divide so again write this code okay just write division means divide uh, just write 15 and 3 okay just slash and back to browser and refresh and check is uh, 5 so we know if we divide 3 by 15 it is 5 okay uh, then is our uh, division modulus so modulus means uh, extra part okay uh, just copy this line just write modulus so if you divide uh, 16 by 3, so we know 3 into 5 
and remainder is one. So if you just write uh, uh, percentage, which means modulus, so which is uh, our uh, remainder part, so 3 into 515 and remainder is one. So what is output? And check here is one is our output. So if you just write uh, uh, 17, so 3 into 5, so remainder is two. So back to browser, refresh, and this is our remainder part, okay? So this is our modulus and then increment decrement okay copy this line uh it means increment okay just like x equal to five and just write x plus plus semicolon and what is our output back to browser and refresh and check uh it's two okay oh, sorry it's x refresh and it's uh it's written 6 so what is means x plus plus so it basically means x equal to x plus 1 so our initial value is 5 so 5 plus 1 equal to 6 if you write 8 so 8 plus 1 equal to 9 so our output will be 9 so here output is 9 and as the increment recommend is same is just uh, minus so just uh, uh, just uh, uh, subtraction so just write uh, decrement okay 8 just write x minus minus so which means x equal to x minus 1 so if we very good at 8 uh, 8 minus 1 equals 7 so our output will be 7 so this is our output so basically this is our uh, arithmetic SI part so to take class so far, uh, next class we will discuss about, uh, sorry, this is, uh, this is assignment operator, so I forgot to mention, uh, just uh, change uh, assignment operator, okay. So this is our 8 bit operator, so basic math, and uh, we will show next class uh, assignment operators, uh, this is our example. So to take class so far, thank you very much for watching. Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. In this class, we will discuss another operators. So first is our assignment operators. So here is our example. So equal to plus equal to minus equal to uh, multiplication equal to divided equal to modulus equal to and double multiplication equal to. Uh, here is our example and here is our uh, demo. So first we back to code and just write like bar x equal to 5. So here is our example or equal to. So equal to have to uh, assign a new value to a variable. So 5 is assigned to uh, x variable. Okay. Then our next is uh, plus equal to which means x equal to x plus y shortcut. Uh, so if you write uh, x plus equal to like 10. So that means x equal to 5 plus uh, 10. Okay. So just write console dot log just variable name x okay and back to browser and refresh and console check here is 15. So you can write just like as as simple. So if you write here uh, minus so which means uh, x equal to x minus so just write 15. So it's uh, okay now 15 minus 10 so which means 5 back to browser and refresh is to 5 so that is our uh, multiplication so same as like so if you write uh, start which means multiply uh, into 3 so that means 15 multiply 3 that's means 45 okay back to browser and refresh here is 45 is our then is our uh, divided just write slash okay 3 divided 15 that means 3 divided 15 uh, 3 divided by 3 5 okay so our output will be five. so our output here is 5 so this is a divided and uh, next is modulus so just write like 22 divided by uh, okay uh, just like 6 okay and just write percentage which means modulus so 6 3 into 18 so our uh, here is modulus okay by 6 
sorry 6 so our remainder will be 3 6 18 so 4 will be our remainder so let's check divided and 4 is our remainder so it is perfectly working and lastly is our double star so let's check what will be happen just write here like 5 x double star 3 first check what will be our output refresh and 1 2 5 so which means uh, 5 into 5 into 5 so 5 into 5 25 25 into 5 will be 125 and our output will be 125 so it worked perfectly working so this is our assignment operators so hopefully you understand so next part is our comparison operator so comparison operator used for compare two between two value or more value so first is our double equal to is check left and right is uh, same so again here like uh, uh, like x equal to 5 uh, bar y equal to 10 so we need to check is x and y is equal to or not equal to so just write console dot log x double equal to uh, double equal to y semicolon so x equal to 5 and y equal to 10 so those are not equal to so what is our output refresh and check is false return so it is not okay if you write 5 and 5 so both are same if you back to browser and refresh so it returns true because 5 equal to 5 so then it's a triple equal to so which means equal value and equal type so must uh, value will be same and type will be same must be same so if we just write equal to so what will return triple equal to and refresh okay it's true because uh, both are same so if we just uh, write a string uh, just single quotation so 5 is not number it is now uh, a string so 5 equal to number equal to string so both are not okay now uh, value is same but type is not same so refresh the page and it's return false because oh, we write uh, one is number and other is a string so uh, so now value is okay but type is not okay so it returns false and uh, then it is not equal to so it returns uh, left and right not equal so if you again write 5 okay and just write here uh, this sign and check not equal so it is false because 5 and 5 same so it returns false again if you write uh, equal to so what will return it return not equal value or equal to as like a triple equal to so our next is greater than less than which is very important so i just write 15 and here write like uh, okay 5 so just check x is uh, x is x is greater than y so just write uh, x greater than y so x is 20 15 y is 5 so x is so x is greater than y uh, refresh and check is return true and if you write uh, increase value like 50 okay so now x is 15 and y uh, y is 50 so x is not uh, greater than y so it return false refresh and check is return false but if we uh, change the sign just less than so x is now less than y so back to browser and refresh and check is returns true so here is our less than greater than and is greater than or equal to so uh, just write 15 and 15 and just write uh, is x greater than or equal to y uh, is check is x uh, greater than y or equal to so 15 is not greater than 15 but equal to 15 so it returns true here yeah, is true if you write 16 so what happened okay uh, 16 and back to browser and refresh it returns false because 15 is not equal to 16 or get get the system as like you can write less than or equal to less than or equal to for checking value so this is our just summary part when you write uh, when you uh, make a project uh, when you start a 10 project we will detail everything operators variable and more so today guys so far thank you very much
Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. In this class, we will discuss another operator which is logical operators. So, logical operators compare two value, uh, more than two value. So, there is two one, uh, one is and, and is uh, or. So, let's take example. So, back to code and just write a variable uh, like x, like x equal to 10, okay, variable y equal to 20. Just write console dot log just check uh, x is greater than y okay so what is output is false because x is 10 so it's not false so this is just a uh, sing, uh, single uh, comparison if you want multiple comparison so you can use here so first check if x is greater than y and uh, x uh, and check uh, x okay not sorry just check x sorry not equal to 20 so first check uh, x is greater than uh, s is less than y and x equal to not equal to 20 so back to browser and refresh and it's uh, return true because x is uh, less than y and x not equal to 10 okay so uh, a, this is our n operator okay so if you uh, write greater than is x greater than y and x not equal to 20 so what happened refresh and it return false because uh, between two statements one is true and one is false so uh, as n operator must be uh, must be true between two operators so if you use or or means anyone is either this one true or either this true is anyone will true this is return true so back to browser and refresh and check this is true because uh, x uh, x not equal to greater than y but x not equal to 20 so this is true this is false but as one is true so it's return true so this is our basically our comparison operator uh, sorry logical operators and lastly that is our condition turn operator well, we can uh, uh, simply uh, write in one line okay uh, just like uh, delete this code just write variable a is equal to 20 okay as standard operator we can shortcut uh, write this like uh, equal to uh, condition value true okay h22 okay uh, just check uh, bar uh, is okay just write uh, check is equal to our condition so what is our condition here is condition so uh, a is greater than 18 okay then put you know question sign then write uh, string just uh, uh, okay okay yes just write yes okay yes or if not yes then alternative okay no just write no so this line means if a is greater than 18 is written yes if a is not less uh, not greater than 18 then it returns true so a is 20 is greater than 18 so it returns true so back to browser so it okay uh, sorry uh, we need to console dot log console dot log just write check is okay back to browser and refresh it written yes but if age is like 27 so 27 is uh, 27, uh sorry right like 15 so 15 is not greater than 18 so it written no refresh just right here is no so this is our uh, tunnel operator the conditional tunnel operator so you can easily write this like this so hopefully you are in this class so today class so far thank you very much for watching